The year is 2008 and life is simple for the Maruti Suzuki Swift. Dominating sales with its affordable price, fun to drive dynamics and good looks. It achieved something that only few cars ever have. It appealed to the enthusiasts and even your cha-cha. But not to be outdone, the Koreans retaliated with Pulgasari. That's the Korean version of Godzilla, if you didn't know. Anyways, back to the story. The i20 was a runaway success, but not to be outdone. The Japs scrambled all their resources and from the ashes of R&D, deep-seated marketing budgets and corporate debt financing arose the Polino. With its clever positioning and Nexa branding, the formula worked for the Bellino and as it stands today, it's amongst the top 5 selling cars in India. Not too far behind is the i20, which is why today I'm going to tell you which is the smarter choice. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder, said the famous internet philosopher Abraham Lincoln. So depending how you look at it, one car can be better than the other. With the Bellino, I think it's a good looking machine. It's cool, it's slick, it's youthful, and damn, I sound like an uncle. But this was the first Maruti car to feature LED DRLs and the 16 inch alloy. But the i20 on the other hand, like a fine wine, has only gotten better with age. It's now more aggressive, more muscular. Like Mr. Shah Rukh Khan himself, how does he manage to keep those six packs at this age and that full head of hair? Wow! Oh, you Premium cars means premium features. And both of these cars are fully loaded. They both come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, although the Bellino does have a bigger screen and it was also the first hatchback in India to feature Apple CarPlay. But in comparison, the UI and the Archimus audio system on the i20 is far superior than what is available on the Bellino. The Bellino also features a full-color MID display with power and torque craft, HID projector headlamps, auto-dimming rear-view mirrors, automatic headlamps and the works. The i20 offers similar level of kit but only makes do with standard projector headlamps but offers cornering lamps as well. Furthermore, over the Bellino, the i20 offers a fast USB charger, cool glove box, center and rear armrest with rear cup holders. But in this case, the ace up the sleeve of the i20 is a feature that will make everyone from Sharma ji to your Papa ji very happy and that is a rear AC vent. Convenience! Now if you look at the prices of both the products, the i20 at the bottom is cheaper than the Bellino but the further up the ladder we go, it gets considerably more expensive but things get a little bit more complicated when this guy comes into the mix. Now if you look at the prices of the Swift, at the top it's between 6 to 20,000 rupees cheaper than the Bellino. But it gets a little bit more complicated than that, folks. If you think about it, on paper, the Swift is essentially based on the same platform as the Bellino. It weighs pretty much the same. It's offered in the same drivetrain options and it even comes with the same features as well. So I think in that case, it only makes sense to give the Swift a chance to defend itself against the so-called premium hatchbacks. You ready for it? You promise you're not going to embarrass me? Fine, run along then. Here are our thoughts in a nutshell. Starting things off, we have practicality and space, specifically the boot space department. In this case, the Bellino is the biggest car of the three, which means it also offers the most amount of boot space. But keep in mind, folks, that the loading lip on the Bellino is fairly high, which means that's going to be a bit of a problem if you have a back problem or if you're just plain old. The i20 we felt was the most practically laid out on the inside with the most effective use of cubbyhole storage spaces. It also offered the most glove box space of the three cars. And when it came to rear seat comfort, we felt that the Bellino offered the most space in the rear. However, there's a little bit of a caveat to that. We felt that the seats on the i20 were the best contoured. It was marginally less spacious compared to its competition, but the seats in the back were better contoured for rear passengers, not ideal for three. Special mention to the Swift that offered the most amount of headroom of the three. Now, moving on to our next segment, driving dynamics and safety. Now, when it comes to safety features on the cars, all cars come with dual airbags and ABS standard across the range. But here, things take a little bit of a turn. Now, the i20 offers up to six airbags and isofix mounts, but for that, you have to buy the Asta O variant, which makes it quite a bit more expensive. 
The Marutis here have an edge, offering dual airbags, ABS, EBD and Isofix mounts standard across the range. When it comes to NVH and ride quality, the i20 in this case takes the cake. Primarily because of its fit and finish, use of technologies like the air curtain, the i20 is the most refined car to drive and overall it offers the best ride quality. The Bellino on the other hand we felt was the best handling car of the lot which is a little bit of a surprise because honestly I was expecting the Swift to be the best handling. But the Bellino gets it because it has a longer wheelbase, it has a slightly wider track and bigger tyres so it felt more compliant in the corners. The Swift on the other hand felt the most easy to negotiate in a city driving situation. But if driving performance and handling is really that important to you as a consumer in this segment, then these three cars are cars you just shouldn't consider. You should look at things like maybe the Ford Figo S or the Bellino RS. Moving on, when it came to braking performance, you found that the Suzuki Swift had the best braking performance of the three, mainly because it is also the most compact of the three cars. And the i20 again performed the worst. Primarily, the brakes feel really wooden, not a lot of progression, not a lot of feedback. Very hard to really tell what those wheels are doing under heavy braking situations. The variable geometry turbo that comes with the engine on the i20 offers the most linear power delivery of the three. While the other two cars felt like it wanted to get off the line faster, the i20 felt more relaxed overall, which in a segment like this, we feel makes more sense. All right, Thor has a hammer, Captain America has a shield, but we have the baton of judgment, which we'll now use to deliver the verdict. Of all the three cars that we have here today, without a shadow of doubt, the i20 is the most superior product of the three. But the Asta O variant, we think, isn't exactly the smartest choice. Because it is considerably more expensive, over 70,000 rupees more expensive than its competition. What we would suggest is look at the Asta variant if the i20 is in your radar. Because the Asta variant, you miss out on a couple of creature comforts. But more importantly, you keep important features like that infotainment touchscreen and the Archimus audio system. And it comes in at 13,000 rupees cheaper than the Bellino. Now that is good value. However, if you don't have over 8 lakh rupees to spend on a hatchback, a car like the Swift still makes a very strong case because this car offers the most comprehensive range of gearbox options, even more so than its so-called premium siblings. For under 7 lakh rupees, you can get a Swift AMT. And in today's day and age, having an automatic is sort of becoming a necessity and it's great that Maruti are offering these options with a car like the Swift. Now the Bellino on the other hand, when the car first came into the market, it was the kid with all the gizmos and all the attention. However, time has caught on and it's starting to show its age just a little bit. But I wouldn't leave the Bellino out of the running just yet folks because Keep in mind that a facelift is just around the corner and we should see the improvements that we've seen on the Swift make its way into the Bellino and let's see what it has to offer then. And so to simply conclude, the i20 Asta for today is the smartest choice. Until next time, thank you so much for watching. Sayonara.